in Ohio, everybody! We are Angelo and Ilsa. Over the past two decades, we have been building a life and career in the performing arts industry in Western New York. In 2012, we bought an old cathedral and turned it into the Spire Theater, also known as the Inspire Development Center. It was really starting to take off as a gathering place for the community. But then, the world was turned upside down and we were forced to close our doors for the foreseeable future. So we piled ourselves and our three children into this 15-year-old shuttle bus and made it our tiny off-grid home on wheels. After a 5,000-mile journey, visiting 13 states between the Atlantic and Texas, our kids want to spend the holidays in our hometown. We thought we'd had our last adventure in 2020, but then we got to Ohio. Subscribe and join us on the adventures ahead. I don't know if you can hear that. It's an all too familiar sound in our lives. Come on, go get chunk, 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 chunk. It doesn't look like our doors are open. Jeez. Everything, oh my gosh. We're driving down Highway 71 in Ohio. We are four hours away from home. And suddenly, we're, we hit something, I think. Some kind of metal or something. And in a really busy traffic, it's kind of dark explosion and the bus feels like it's going out of control with huge semis going around us. We got another flat. The same tire, the inner dually is On the currently side. shredded, probably about to fall off. And we are about 10 minutes to a tire shop closing the day before Christmas Eve. So we are going as fast as we can to get to this guy. I keep looking at the Garmin and it keeps on saying 13 minutes to arrival. Two, two like other it's ten. Not... Oh, there it goes. That, that thing fell off. Excellent. Hopefully the guy behind me is paying attention that my blinkers are on and goes around me. Well, it's not clunking anymore. So we called a couple tire places. The first place said, no, sorry, we can't stay open and help you. The second place said, well, we don't have that size. We said, well, we have a tire, it's just not on the rim. From the last time the tire blew out. Oh, it's against our policy to put on used tires. And it's like, well, can you just let us sign a waiver or something? Because, you know, it's not like it's the main supporting tire. It's not like a four-wheel car. We have an extra tire. So, you know, there's not a lot of liability We that. just want to get back to Jamestown. We just want to go home. And it's like, we sorry, have four it's more our hours policy. to drive. Like, he just, the guy just refused to help us. We're like, dude, we're going to be on the side of the road through Christmas then. Like, that's how we're spending Christmas. That is what is happening. And he's just like, sorry. He basically hung up on us. Like, what is the world coming to? It's like corporations just have policies and procedures. They have no humanity. They're more worried about liability than just helping people. Just being kind to We'd people. be willing to pay. So that's why you have to support mom and pops, local businesses that actually care about people. Because I'm going to write a review about that place. I would have paid him double. I would have paid him whatever he wanted. Like, just, just do the thing. We just want to get our kids home in time for Christmas. I also don't want to be sleeping on the highway. That's not safe. Yeah. But this is why rushing is never good either. You take it slow. You drive during the day. You don't take highways if you're in a vehicle like ours. This is the third time this inside passenger dually has gone flat on us. The third time in less than a month. When we get back, we are ordering spare tires on rims. I think we should have more than one. Yes. Yes. I think we should have two or four. <laughs> like, we we'll figure out a place to store them so that we can just have them. And then when this happens, we just call roadside assistance. They come and change the tire for us. That's it. Simple. We have roadside assistance, but roadside assistance won't put a tire on a rim. Driving a big rig, you've got to check your tires. you got to check your oil. You just have to do a once around and inspect it and we, see what's going I've on. I've been hitting them with a hammer to check. Yeah, because then you can hear One thing I will say is Shoot. yay for dualies. Because the one awesome thing about, we haven't had to get towed or anything because we... We've been getting these flat tires and we're able to keep driving. 
So that makes me glad that we had dualies. We found a guy, a tire place. It's a tire choice in, um, I don't know, Ohio. I'll update that later. I don't know where we are. We just got off the highway and followed the directions here. The guy's helping us out. They're already supposed to be closed. He stayed open. Um, we pulled in though and he came out and he said, oh no, I don't think I can lift you. I don't have a jack that big. So we called around, we found uh, an advanced auto parts and we bought a massive uh, lift. This guy right here, it's a three and a half ton um, jack. So we're hoping that that's gonna do the trick to lift this thing up and get us back on the road again today. Hopefully our lug nuts come off. Um, it's just an ever ending saga with the tires and hopefully we'll have good news for you when we come back and are all tired up appropriately. Okay, get your siblings, okay? I told the kids to get out of the bus so there's less weight on that side of the bus or take out any extra weight that we have. Um, and here's Angelo. We've got a good thing we held onto that tire. He's getting it out for us so he the guy can put that. He does have a tire this size, but it's not the right load range, so he won't do it for us. Oh yeah, it's a passenger tire. Passenger tire? And that's two, okay. All right, so we'll see what happens next. It's coming up. Yep. Yeah. That's a little rainy. All right, I want you to show me where it is on that. I want to get a picture of it. Oh yeah. Well, it's recorded. No, I just want to get. Two seventy-five, two twenty-five, seventy-five, sixteen. There's no LT in front of it. Uh. I'm surprised that Max I pressure is at 44. That's a low rent. That right there states alone that it's a regular standard tire. Right here is two ply steel plus two ply polyester. That's a two ply tire. This is meant to go in a regular passenger truck, not anything of that size. Okay. So the guy's a Savannah tire. So Savannah tire is Savannah, Georgia. They gave us a tire that was not safe nor appropriate for our vehicle and they hid it on the inside where we couldn't see it and put the appropriate tire on the outside and charged the same was, uh, price for two tires. A six-year-old tire. And it's a six-year-old tire. Yeah. So Savannah tire, let's take that with us. You want to take this with us? I guess it's evident. We actually, when we got to Savannah Tire, we, we let, the first time we stopped there, when they gave us that bad tire, we didn't know of, obviously, at the time, but um, my kid left his toy there. We went down to Florida, and we had to come back up through Savannah anyway, so we picked up our toy, and as we were picking it up, the hubcap came off, and we lost the, the stem. So the tire was flat. But we didn't know that. We just thought we lost a hubcap. So we told them, we're like, oh, we lost a hubcap. And they're like, oh, that's too bad. And that's it. They didn't say, uh, you lost a hubcap? It probably ripped off your stem. 
I mean, they could have they could have charged me to fix it right then and there. Learned a lot about tires, a lot more than I ever thought I would. This stuff right here. See that weight right there? Yes. This weight right there? That shouldn't be there. See these? That's yeah. how they should be balanced. So they didn't even know what they were doing when they balanced it. Oh. That's why when I pulled that other one off, I'm like, why do they have weights on the inside of the rim? That's not a it's not kosher at all. Yeah. This is no, no, it's serious. I just to show you. Okay. So, it's a lot it's older. It's really upsetting that they, like... They sold us a tire that's older than the ones that we had. Right. And they were, yeah. Jack out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hold it up, put the tires on, find another place to rejack it, pick it back up, get it off the stand, and set it back down. Oh my god. We're, uh, we're ah! Almost the right um, size. A little too it, small. It worked, but Sam was, I mean. Sam had to climb up. under the bus to, to jack it up. It properly. He went above and beyond to help us. And I, I made some comment. I said, oh, he's, he's in beast mode. He's really working it. Like, he was really, really tough. And he's like, oh, I'm just trying to get this done. I got, I'm a single dad. The kids are home with babysitter. I got to get to them. And so then, you know, of course, Day before the Christmas drinks, Eve. I'm yeah. Like, oh, he's going out of his way, even though. You know, everyone has their own stuff going on. So nothing is ever easy for anyone, really. It's just a pick your poison kind of thing. So then I'm feeling incredibly guilty, and now, but he he did it. He did it with joy in his heart. He did tell us we need to stop. Sam told us we need to stop at 100 miles and tighten the lugs. So like it's very important. So we stopped and bought a four-way lug wrench and um, a tire iron. It fits our lugs. And which I'm excited. I sort of feel like I've always wanted one of those. It feels like official, like you're a car person if you have one of those. Like a cool car person. Truck person. I don't know. I just feel powerful having a, a lug wrench now. And uh, so we have to do that. We're going to have to stop halfway home and tighten the, the lugs by hand. Just make sure that they're not Look at that cool castle. This is beautiful. What is going on here? Where are we anyway? I don't even know. We're somewhere in Ohio. We don't even know the name of this town. We Where's just came here because it was the nearest tire guy. Where's the papers? Where'd you put the papers? Uh, I gave them to you. Oh. Is this where the story 
Oh, I gotta turn the camera on. They gotta see this. Oh, look at that. Arriving in Lakewood, which is just one town over from Jamestown, where we, where our home base is, where the Spire Theater, the Inspire Development Center, our business, which is just sitting there empty. It's gonna be cold. We didn't have anyone go turn the heat on for us. No. It's, it's not as much snow as I thought, and it is actually warmer than it usually is this time of year. But yeah, tomorrow, but a big storm is coming, so we decided it would be better to keep driving and just get home and be home because there's no ice on the roads and it's good driving conditions. So yeah. I just got in the zone. Tomorrow it won't be good driving conditions. Six to 18 inches of snow are expected. And I will wish that I was still somewhere in the south. I know. I don't think I've ever spent Christmas on a beach. This could have been the time to do that. Yeah. Let's just go back. Let's, let's turn around right now. Oh before God. the snow comes. Let's Come on, let's go. Let's wake them up and say, we're going to turn this bus around. Is anybody awake back there? They're not awake, so Patty, let's just tell them now. Patty woke up and... She wanted to watch more Partridge Family. Kids have been watching the Partridge Family in the back. It's great. It's a musical family just like us, traveling around in a bus. Yeah. Why don't more people have Christmas lights? Are people like not feeling the festive? I think a lot of people aren't feeling the festive. I mean, we've seen a lot of Christmas lights around the country. But I think... The South, there were tons. Yeah. But I think a lot of people are not feeling as festive because... It's just not the same kind of holiday season as it's been in the past. It's different this it year. It's not that it's cold here, and a lot of people in the north have seasonal depression. You get a little warm, even if you don't have depression. It's just less light, it's really cold, and with everything else going on, it's probably not as motivating to decorate and be all festive and cheery. I'm happy to be home, though. I'm excited about my bathtub, my bed. I'm not excited about the bed. But we're bringing in our bed from the bus because it's more comfortable. That's why I'm not excited about it. Because it's 4.30 in the morning. It's 4.30 in the morning almost, and I have another chore to do. Well, I'd rather it. just climb into bed in the most comfortable bed we've ever slept in. And sleep out here? Yeah. You could, but it's going to get awful cold and you'll get snowed in in the morning. Yeah, that I'm not excited about. See, that's why I'd rather just be somewhere else. Stop being a whiny pants. We can invite our whole families to come join us. We can get some tents so they have as guest rooms. And everyone can um, come. We can have Christmas. We, just we can have Christmas in the tent. desert somewhere and we can desert, uh, deserate. And we can, see I'm desert. tired. We can decorate a cactus to put presents underneath it. <laughs> or a palm tree. Christmas decorating in the south or in the, in the desert is deserating. Those are nice yeah. lights. Yeah, that's, that's I like those, they're like the traditional lights, the blue ones. Yeah, it's pretty. There's a Lucy Hall, Lucy Desi Gift Museum, or gift shop and museum. <laughs> Lucy Desi Gift Museum. It's a museum of gifts. <laughs> I show it over there. Look at that. We're famous for something. We're famous for that. Yes. Among a few other things. Lucille Ball was born right here in Jamestown, New York. We actually just drove by Stewart Avenue where she was born.
see that light shining right up there? Right, oh, right there. That's the steeple, that's the spire of the Spire Theater, which is why we are the Inspire Engine.